Hello YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Boyd's Coins. Today we're going to be doing our non-coin roll hunting finds for March 2020. Well, we did get a good bit of stuff this month. But... We got a lot of stuff now. I got lucky. I acquired this big old bag of silver dimes at the job yesterday. Only paid face for it, so it's about right about twenty-two to twenty-three dollars worth face. But let's go through all this stuff. We have found a lot of amazing stuff. We're going to go through, and I've got I got one package from DC Bingo as well. But we're going to open that package with this. I got sent one of those West Point cores I've been seeking for quite some time. So, let me get all this stuff sort, sorted out. Let's get started. All the pennies. I got a couple of 2009s. I got professional life and informative years. As for the wheat pennies. Got a 1956 Denver. 58 Philadelphia. 1941 Philadelphia. Another 56 Philadelphia. 1948 Denver. 1947 San Francisco. 40, in a 1947 San Francisco. And I actually managed to get a hold of an Indian head this month. It's an 1887. So I managed to find one coin over 100 years old this month. And the beautiful thing is, a friend of mine gave this to me. Well, this camera just don't want to be a meanie today. There we go, 1887. And there's the reverse. Well, that's it for the pennies. I did find a few nickels, but let's sort this out. I'll show you what we found. Okay, going to start with these nickels. We've got quite a few. I found this really nice 1981 yesterday. It's a, it's a 81 Philadelphia, really good shape. Looks like practically brand new. And I did check out my loop, it does have steps on the back as well. And I got a whole of a 2009 Denver as well, which I don't find old nines too much. Other than my coin roll hunting. Nineteen forty seven Philadelphia nineteen forty one Denver nineteen forty seven Philadelphia Another 1941. This one is a Philadelphia. Nineteen fifty three. Fifty three Denver. Nineteen fifty six. Plain. Nineteen forty six. Philadelphia. Nineteen forty eight. That's forty eight Denver. Shame it's got this mark on it's got this marks on it. It's nineteen forty one. Forty one Philadelphia, nineteen forty 
None of the 41. That's Philadelphia. Nineteen fifty eight. It's like a fifty eight Denver. This is a nineteen forty two. This is a nineteen forty two Denver, not silver. This is actually a semi key date. And we got over 1939. Philadelphia. And we got a Buffalo as well. No date on, but we'll take it definitely. But if she did actually did have a mint mark on, which I don't see one, I would actually would get a bottle of nickel date to see the date on it, just out of curiosity. But that was a good score on the nickels this month. Now for the fun part. Got the small sack, small stack of dimes. This big bag of dimes I got to sort through. This will take me a little bit. I'll be right back. Finally finished. All these dimes are sort of separated them by year. But I got almost every year between 46 and 64. But I'm still looking for the 1949 and 1955s. Because that's actually the only year. Well, that's the only two years left I need to finish filling up my silver dime book from 64, excuse me, 46 to 64. But as the flame started soaring, I guess I figured it out right. All these right here by it's all these big stacks are all 1964. But I got lucky in a way. I don't find these very often. I got a hold for Mercury as well. 1943, Philadelphia. Actually, really not that bad of a shape overall. But let me get through these dots. I'm gonna go ahead and roll these up and we'll go through the quarters next. Now for the quarters. I did find a good number of 2009s. I got a pair of used Virgin Islands. I got three Washington DCs, a Guam, and a Puerto Rico all in pretty good shape. I did manage to find two West Points this month. We found an American Park. In a warm Pacific. Now to open this package from DC Bingo. Yeah, make sure you hit the like, subscribe this channel. They got some real good content and everything else. Let's see if we can try to open this package live. Because she sent me a particular quarter I've been looking for for ages. And I finally got it. There we go. All right. I hope I like this. I know I will. We got a West Point, obviously. Oh, and she even put in a cap, too. Awesome. Well, Dropsies again today. <laughs> well, one of these days. I finally got my first San Antonio Missions West Point. I did a trade with DC because DC needed the um, War in Pacific, so we did an even trade. So this was this is awesome. I've been looking for this one for a very very long time. Now for all the silver. Found a grand total of 13 1964s. 
And I couldn't believe it. I actually found a good number back from the 40s, 30s, 1948. Got a pair of 1941s. Pair of 1936. 1937, 1934, and I actually found this one at work here a couple weeks ago. I got a hold of a 1915 Barber. Let's see, it's reverse. Yeah, it's kind of slick, tired of wore out, but 1915 out in circulation, this is something you don't see every day. And as for these rolls of dollar coins, this was an actual bank pickup. But let me set this stuff aside or I'll open this up live and I'll show you what I found. Alright, I just opened up this roll of dollar coins. These are all Susan B. Anthony's. They didn't only made these from 1979 to 1981 and they did a one year run in 1999 also. Before they started making the second Sharia dollars in 2000. But from what I can see, all these are in very excellent shape. But I'm going to go through these. Um, hopefully, I'm, hopefully I can get a hold of an 80 or 81. i got plenty of 79s in my collection right now. But hopefully if I go through these, I can find the, what they call the wide rim or the near date error on these. But I'll go through these real quick so if we can find one. I just went through this whole roll of Susan B. Anthony's. Of course, this whole stack right here is going to be 1979's. Those are Denver. I've actually got a hold of three of the Philadelphias. Which, that's great. I don't have none of those collections. And actually, this was kind of rough shape. But here at the bottom, but I actually got a pair of 1980's. Now I just need to find me an 81, that way I have a full set. And I did find a pair of the 1979s with the wide rim error. Which these do carry a small premium. Excellent finds. And I left this under my loop. I'm not sure because I checked a bit mark on it. This may very well be a 1979S, which this will make this a proof. There'll be another great, a great find out of the collection. I don't have a proof Susan B in my collection. Well, here's the dollars. And I went and rolled those stumps. Like I said, I was going to earlier. The nickels, the pennies, the forms, everything else. This ended up being a spectacular month. Well, I'm hopefully if get my situation straightened up here near here in the near future, I'll be back in a few weeks and be back coin roll hunting again. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please hit the like, share, subscribe, and please leave a comment. And remember, every day's a treasure hunt.